A number of XTML model elements support the visibility property to enforce how the data inside them can be accessed by elements within, nested under, or outside the element. Visibility can be set to public, which is the default, protected, and private. On the UI canvases, the element name is preceded by an indicator to show the current visibility setting. Plus for public, minus for private, and hash or pound for protected. Visibility control is especially useful in conjunction with packages to segregate model data and control access to internal behavior. To change the visibility setting, simply right click on a model element and select make public, make private, or make protected. Now let's talk about namespaces. Namespacing is supported and managed entirely by means of visibility. That is, two elements with the same name are permitted provided that they are not simultaneously public in any action language scope. XTML Editor does some checks when elements are created to help avoid name collisions. In addition, the parser will indicate a parse error on any name collision it finds. Now let's discuss the visibility rules. The first point to understand is that changing the visibility of a container, that is a package or a component, has no effect on the visibility settings of its children. Each nested child has its own visibility setting. The next point, and this can be tricky for some to understand, is that if an element is visible to another element, it will be descended in searches regardless of the visibility setting on the target element. Now you may wonder, so what is the point of marking a package as private? It is in the opposite conclusion. If a package cannot be seen, it will not be descended. The key is that setting a container to private restricts its visibility to some, but not all, other elements in the model. This behavior is closely analogous to that of a text-based programming language. For example, can you see public members of a private class in Java? The answer is yes, but only if you are in the same package as that private class. If you are not in the same package, you can't see the private class, let alone its public members. In both the XTML and Java scenario, marking the container the XTML package or the Java class as private does not mean that its contents are entirely hidden from everyone in the outside world. There are some elements that do still have access to the internals of the container, even though the container itself is marked as private. In the case of XTML, the visibility rules define that peer elements fall into this category. Peers are always allowed to look inside one another even if one or both of them is private. For the purposes of the example you see here, I have modified a screenshot of the tool to show the internals of the node PKG and probe PKG packages. The internals of packages are not actually shown like this inside the tool. But here we see rule number two in action. Since node PKG is a peer of the pacer class, Node PKG is always visible to Pacer, even though it is marked as private. This means that OAL in Pacer Find Nodes operation will search inside Node PKG when looking for named elements. Then the individual visibility of the elements inside Node PKG comes into play. Thus, OAL in Pacer can see the Node class, but it cannot see the Module class because module is marked private. Using the same rules, node PKG is not visible to the probe class. Thus, OAL in probe can see the public pacer class one level up, but it cannot see node PKG because node PKG is private. And therefore, it cannot descend into node PKG and see either class node or module. 
In the default workspace configuration with interproject references turned off, a consequence of the visibility rules is that marking a top level package as private is meaningless since there is nothing above it to be hidden from. However, if the workspace has interproject references turned on, top level package visibility does matter because it allows you to control which packages can be seen and hence descended from other projects. The XTML style guide includes the visibility matrix on page 16. The style guide is available inside the tool via help, help contents, Bridgepoint UML suite help, reference, the style guide to XTML modeling.